Nancy with Better Life Vlog. I've got a fun project for you today. I am making this cute, loads of love, um, Valentine's Day truck sign, and it was a really fun project to make. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the file itself and how you can get your own copy, stick around till the end and enjoy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got my chalk paint and this board has already been sanded and everything. And I'm just gonna paint a thin coat on there and set it aside to dry. And then next I've got my Ormask 813 stencil vinyl. This is uh, a vinyl that is specially made for using it as a stencil. And so um, I've got a link to Expressions Vinyl where you can get this exact kind of vinyl. Um, and this is good. You can also use like a regular Aura Cal 651 for this a application as well. Um, but this is good because um, it's just, it's more cost effective um, than using actual vinyl. So um, check that out. And what I'm doing right now is I'm basically weeding and removing all of the pieces of the stencil um, that I want to paint over. So I'll be applying this to the board in just a second, um, but I wanna get all the pieces off. And then I've gotta get my transfer tape and a link to that is in the description box as well. And I'm going to put this on the board and paint that. So before I do that, uh, after the paint has dried, I'm taking this fine grit um, sponge and this tack cloth and I'm just kind of sanding it. And then what the tack cloth does it, is it just kind of removes any dust that gets left over after you sand it. And this just makes it really smooth and it helps prevent some bleeding. So I've got my transfer tape and I am putting the stencil right on the board and removing it. And then I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and this is just your standard matte Mod Podge. And um, this is a good tip because what it does is it's creating kind of a barrier between your stencil and your wood. And once it dries, um, and then you apply the paint, it kind of acts as like a dam so that the paint doesn't seep through. So you wanna make sure that you're getting a really, really thin coat of that Mod Podge and let it dry completely before um, before you start adding your paint. And if it's a really thin coat, then um, it shouldn't pull up or peel. So make sure it's super, super thin. And I'm just using, I'm using a little sponge. You could use either a makeup sponge or um, you know a little paint sponge. But what I'm doing is I'm just kind of doing a dabbing motion and I'm trying to apply as little paint as possible. Um, and then I'm just kind of going over each piece um, in all the different colors that I, um, chose and so all of these are actually chalk paints um, the kind that I'm using is um, well I, I have a couple different kinds one is from Walmart which is the Waverly and then the this pink these pink colors I got from Michaels um, so I'll post the links to or I'll post the names of the actual brands for you guys if you're interested and then the color of the um, the truck is this metallic blue. It kind of looks like a steel, um, a, a blue steel kind of color. It's really pretty um, and it's metallic. So when it hits the light, um, it just kind of has this sheen. But the thing is, this is actually not a chalk paint. And so it did take a lot longer to dry. And so I just kind of had to treat it a little bit differently than I usually do with my quick drying chalk paint. All right, so now everything is dry and I am just removing all of the stencil vinyl and it looks so good, you guys. I love this part. I love taking off all the pieces. If you're enjoying this video, I would absolutely love it if you would share this video with your crafting buddies and uh, hit the like button and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. All 
right, so here it is, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this video. And um, if you're interested in this file, be sure to check out the link in the description box. This is actually part of a huge Valentine's Day SVG bundle. I've designed all these files and I'm giving them away for only $16. Um, it's $205 worth of individual files and there's a ton of them. Um, and you can do all kinds of cute projects with these. So check it out and let me know what you guys think. enjoy this video for more crafting videos just like this one be sure to hit like comment and subscribe so that you can see more videos like this so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see you next time